Well, we have a lot of evidence that these cancers are caused by HPV. One, we see an incredibly high rate of HPV detection in these cancers. In cervical and anal cancer, that's over 90%. In other cancers, it's even greater of 70%, like oropharyngeal head and neck cancer. Two, we can see that the viral protein as it integrates into our DNA can produce proteins that inactivate two major tumor suppressor genes that we know are heavily involved in guarding our bodies against cancer. So it actually inactivates the P53 tumor suppressor gene and the retinoblastoma tumor suppressor gene. And while the specifics of these genes are, are really kind of beyond the scope of our discussion today, they are two major programs that help us eliminate or prevent cancer from forming in our natural cells. And by inactivating them, you're kind of removing our two guardians who are protecting our genome or our DNA from alterations that can cause these, these cancers. And so it's inactivating two of our major guardians against cancer, essentially. And another line of evidence is showing that when we look at patients who are vaccinated against HPV, we now see a dramatic reduction both in precancerous lesions, as shown in a US uh, uh, study looking at pre-cervical high-grade lesions of the cervix. But more recently, in a Finnish study, they found that when they compared vaccinated teenagers with unvaccinated teenagers, that there's a reduction in rates of cancer, both in cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, any HPV-related cancers. And while the numbers were low, this is really the first evidence showing that HPV vaccination can decrease cancers, uh, cancer formation. 